Beeswax is one of the most wonderful things we can find in nature. We have already shown here on the channel how to clean beeswax, how to make beeswax palettes, and even how to use beeswax in various natural cosmetics, such as moisturizing cream or lip balm. In the video description box, you can find all the links to these suggested videos. Today, we bring you a step-by-step -step tutorial for making beeswax candles to set the mood in your home. Making beeswax candles at home is a simple process, but it requires some special care. So let's look at everything that is needed and get to know several tips and important advice for a good result. It is necessary to choose a heat-resistant container. The choice of the shape of the container is also very important. Some bad examples are containers that are too deep and have a narrow opening. If they are too deep, the wick will need to be very long and if the opening is narrow, the wick will have less oxygen to burn freely and may also burn the edges of the container. Some good examples are glass cups or wide-mouthed jars that are not too large. Metal cans or silicone molds can also be used to make candles. However, glass jars will always be the most economical and easiest option to find. The wick must be of suitable thickness for the mount of the jar. For a wide jar, you should use a thick wick, for a small jar, a thin wick. If the wick is too thin, it will not be able to melt the wax to the edges of the jar. Here's an example of this. Ideally, you should choose the jar first and then buy the wick according to the size of the jar. Now that we have chosen the container and the wick, let's gather all the material. We will add one wick holder. Alternatively, you can use two coffee sticks or one clothespin. One Pyrex. Ideally, a measuring cup that can easily pour liquids. One pan with water up to two inches high. One pan base, one digital kitchen thermometer, beeswax bars or pellets. The amount of beeswax will depend on the size of the jar. We advise you to use beeswax pellets because it makes it much easier when weighing. One small container for the beeswax, one kitchen scale, one kitchen glove, essential oil of your choice. A fragrance can also be used but you must remember that fragrances are synthetic and can cause allergies in some people. Therefore, we recommend using essential oil. You can use just one oil or a blend of oils of your choice. It is also important to use a good quality essential oil, otherwise the candle will be unscented. One small container for the essential oil. One cloth. One ice cream or coffee stick to mix the wax and essential oil. If you want to use a spoon, it might be a good idea to keep it exclusively for this purpose, as the wax gets very sticky and it is very difficult to remove. And scissors to cut the wick at the end. So let's see how to make a candle step by step. If you have no experience in dealing with beeswax, it may be a good idea to protect the work area with parchment paper or silicone sheets. Once cold, beeswax becomes quite hard and sticks to surfaces. Fill the jar with beeswax pellets. Set them aside and refill the jar. So you will be using double the amount of wax that fits in the jar in solid state. This is because once melted, the wax will spread better throughout the jar and some of the wax will always be retained in the Pyrex. We recommend weighing the total amount of wax on a scale, in case you are going to make more candles with the same type of jar. After you know the weight of the wax, weigh out a maximum of 6% of essential oil for the total weight of the wax. For example, if you have 100 grams of wax, you add a maximum of 6 grams of essential oil. The density of oils is variable, but the weight in milliliters will be very similar, so 6 milliliters of essential oil can be added. For this candle, we used 40 grams of beeswax and 2.4 grams of essential oil. Cover the essential oil container with a cloth. The essential oil is volatile, so it should remain covered until poured into the wax. 
Place the beeswax inside the Pyrex. Place the Pyrex in a pan with water up to 2 inches high. Turn the stove on a low heat and let the wax melt. The melting point of beeswax is at 70 degrees Celsius, but if the amount is large, it may need more temperature to melt. After melting completely, remove the wax from the heat and place the Pyrex on top of a pan base, so that it doesn't come into contact with a cold surface, which would cause the wax to solidify too quickly. Check the temperature with the digital kitchen thermometer. Before the temperature drops below 70 degrees Celsius, add the essential oil and mix well. This step is very important. The essential oil cannot be added when the wax is too cold, as it will not blend well. Below 70 degrees, the wax begins to thicken and it becomes impractical to mix with the essential oil and to pour into the jar. It also cannot be added when the wax is too hot, as the heat of the wax will cause the scent to dissipate and the candle becomes less fragrant. Carefully and consistently pour the wax into the jar, neither too fast nor too slow, so that the wax looks homogeneous, without bubbles or visible layers, as we see in this candle. Let the wax cool completely. The time it takes will depend on the air temperature. It may take a few hours to solidify completely. Alternatively, the jar can be placed in the fridge when the wax is already slightly solid. When placed in the cold, the candle can be fully solid after one hour. After the wax is completely solidified, cut the wick at about one centimeter from the top of the wax. The candle is ready to use. The candle we made for this video was made with beeswax from our beehives. It is a pure wax that tends to darken over time. Store-bought beeswax tends to be very yellow or white because it has been subject to industrial processes. The wax that is left in the Pyrex can be removed with a spoon, or it can be melted again in a water bath and used to make more candles. Do not pour the wax down the drain of the basin, as the wax buildup can clog the pipes. Nor wash the materials in the dishwasher, as the wax residues may stick to the dishes and clog the filter. We advise you to keep the materials used to make candles exclusively for this purpose. And to remove the excess wax, pour boiling water over the material. This should be done into a bowl. Wait just a bit until the wax softens and, wearing thick rubber gloves, pass a sponge without detergent, or else with soap nut liquid, so that the water can be used on the plants after it has cooled down. And here you have a simple, natural candle to scent your home or to give to someone special. For more details on the entire process of making beeswax candles, visit this post on our blog. We hope you enjoyed all the tips! Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos about simple and sustainable living.